have uh, May Chan from the University of Toronto telling us about their carpentries activities. Hey, uh, am I showing on the screen here? Okay. Um, so uh, that was really interesting, Eric, uh, what you just shared. And some there are some similarities, um, I think, um, between our, our, our two organizations. Um, so I guess I'm just telling a story of how uh, this, this, this all happened. So um, it, we are, the University of Toronto through the library system is piloting a gold membership um, um, with the Carpentries. And so as part of that um, package, then we were able to access um, instructor training um, uh, for uh, 24 seats. So there was, it was like 18, but plus, plus six as a kind of a, a added bonus because our, our, our institution is quite, quite, quite large. And uh, so this, this um, pilot is being funded by what they call the Chief Librarian Innovation Grant. Uh, so we are piloting it until the end of April. So the first order of business was to order, um, to organize uh, instructor training. So the, um, the, the, the grant proposal team and I um, had um, made that happen in um, mid-July. Uh, we were very, very lucky to get, um, have Greg Wilson come in and, and be part of that. Um, being a uh, Torontonian, and we had brought um, in Cam McDonough, who had just got his um, instructor certification, um, so he came along to kind of um, bolster his experience. And uh, the the process of uh, finding how to fill those twenty four seats was very interesting. We we were very committed to um, trying to be as um, well. The criteria we used to, 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 to identify um, candidates for the instructor training was um, we wanted to include a broad range of disciplines, uh, both, both you know, from sciences to humanities, social sciences. Uh, we wanted a mix of um, staff, faculty, students, um, that sort of thing. And what it came down to was, so we, we, uh, we issued a call for applications and we ran it not even for two weeks. Uh, and we got 79 applicants and uh, and everybody like every the, the 24 people that came all showed up it was free we didn't have a charge to this it, um, um, you know we, we had money in the the, the the grant proposal to to fund lunch and everything and um, the honorarium so the the, the the structure training was free how we distributed those seats were uh, because it's a pilot project we did not we, we need to build sustainability in mind. We, we did not know whether this will be uh, repeated. Um, so we picked, um, um, let's see, look, look, at, look at the distribution of seats right now. Um, we had 10 library staff um, from tr the tri campuses, um, 11 graduate students from a mix of disciplines and four other. And the other actually came about really accidentally. I felt really bad. I'm quite new to academia, so I didn't know about all the different kinds of staff that could support uh, university business. So there were people who came out from the Office of Research, which was like, that is like the perfect stakeholder to, um, to, 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 to bring a, a, on board. So um, now you'll notice that those numbers don't add up to 24. What happened was that there was a, some, somebody um, who uh, showed up accidentally because they got, you know, uh, their, uh, event mixed up with something else. He had taken um, vacation to come to this and um, and was from the central IT department. And I'm like, oh, we need to have this person to represent that that view of things. So we just said, okay, like, come on in. Um, and so where are we at in terms of um, checking out? So of the 25, um, 10 has been certified and five are in the queue to do their um, demonstration. So we will, we're looking at maybe 15 out of 25, which I'm pretty happy. If we could get 18, I'll be really, really happy. But 15 out of 25 is, is I think, excellent. Um, and so while uh, we were waiting for people to check out, then you know the hard work of uh, community building uh, begins, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit, um, you know, like it, there's a, it, because it's a pilot project, it's a question mark around uh, where this would 
would live in the future. Um, my, my, my position at the university is like I'm a, I'm a middle manager and I work on uh, the back end um, of things and the back end work we do requires um, development of technical skills all the time. So that's kind of where I entered into uh, the carpentries. Um, library carpentry, administrative home for this in the future if this pilot becomes, um, you know, more um, um, permanent. So I've been just talking with a lot of different stakeholders. Um, at the University of Toronto, there is a new initiative, like a, like a joint collaboration um, um, between the uh, Central IT um, Office of Research and the libraries. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a new uh, service called CRIS, C-R-I-S, called the Center for Research um, and um, innovation services or something like that. And so I thought that would be a really great place for it to live uh, because of the three stakeholders. Um, but uh, the director is uh, quite new, um, so we're not sure of the, um, the capacity to take on uh, a project like this because they're actually building uh, facilities right now. However, um, there is a coffee date plan to meet with the, the director there. So we'll, we'll see if, um, what, what the situation is. There is a member, um, I shouldn't, it's not a member, but there's a person in our instructor cohort um, from one of the campuses who is ex exceedingly good at building bridges and has been introducing me to all sorts of different people um, on, um, on, on campus and, on, and other campuses. So has been introducing me to other researchers, to other people in um, the Office of Research, and just, yeah, bringing in the right people. So I'm getting to attend all these interesting events and meeting all these interesting people that I would not normally get to meet because of my, um, my, my job. And so one event that I'm really looking forward to, to be able to, it's more about listening and hearing what people's technical skill needs are, uh, but there's, um, for example, there is a, a digital humanities visioning event at the end of the month at uh, one of the other campuses. So um, I'll be going in with listening ears to see if there's a fit or what kind of fit, um, like, like the Carpentries curriculum um, 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 could, 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 could play in, in, in this visioning event. Um, uh, a, a number of um, certified instructors from this July cohort has um, has has um, gone ahead to apply for um, pre-conference uh, workshops uh, to 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 offer um, um, teaching to to practice teaching. Um, Greg Wilson had uh, suggested that we um, strategically time our events, so so not unlike what Eric is is doing um, at his at his institution, um, uh, but to time Carpentries events. Uh, technical skill workshops around certain uh, campus initiatives. So there's something um, in early May um, um, that's that's to do with the undergraduate research award. And um, so uh, we're planning to offer three software carpentry workshops to support undergraduate students um, who, have, who, who have won a place in, in, in working in a lab in the summer who will need to learn how to work with data and, and, and automate processes. So we're kind of tying, we're trying to, we're trying to, um, yeah, time the or a workshop so that these students can be, be prepared. And um, I'm kind of going all over the place here, but the group of students that we have not reached right now are the undergraduate students. We made a very deliberate decision to choose graduate students um, for the instructor training um, um, uh, cohort because of just sustainability uh, issues. So, um, so that's, three of the six workshops that I think come with the uh, gold membership um, support. And uh, we, I'm just working backwards in terms of what our plans are. The, um, uh, there, we have two data carpentry workshops planned in February um, to be designed for social sciences and humanities students. And then we um, just um, submitted a request for um, putting um, on a library carpentry workshop in early January. So uh, because of the large cohort of instructors were able to build, then finding local instructors hasn't been very hard. And so the only, like, I mean, I shouldn't say the only work, all administrative work is work, um, but then that takes the load off a little bit of the carpentries and it can help me like focus on getting the registration page uh, figured out, for example, um, which uh, Sharon has um, been, been, been doing. Um, 
And yeah, so um, I, I also put in a proposal recently to CNI, uh, the Co Coalition for Network Information, to talk about how this collaborative process is unfolding at U of T, so it got accepted. So um, there'll be a, 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 an opportunity to present to people at the director level uh, about the value of the carpentries. And uh, so I'm very excited by uh, where this project is taking, uh, taking us. So I'm gonna stop there. I feel like I just talk a lot, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very energized by what's going on um, here. Wonderful, May. Thank you so much. I can feel your energy and I appreciate it. Um, I wanted to say really quickly, I was extremely pleased to see May sign up because I think she mentioned briefly, um, her membership is through a grant, um, which is an awesome strategy um, to get things started. We've had this happen several times. Um, and it is, like she's saying, a pilot, but hopefully it gives the space to at least start things and prove uh, the worth of the membership at the organization, the worth of the training in the community at the organization so that it can then be hopefully seen and picked up uh, by other people after that. And that is also why the increase in the instructor training seats, um, because University of Toronto reaches a relatively new community um, for us. So we were happy to, within the scope of that grant, um, increase that as well. Thank you so much, May. Um, oh, so I actually have one thing I forgot to mention. So as part of the, like, you know, looking for uh, stakeholders and all that, the U of T Coders Club reached out to me to say, Fantastic. Uh, we need more of this. And the University of Toronto Coders Club actually has been putting carpentry's um, um, sort of practices into their workshop. So it's just a club and it's run by student volunteers. And they've been taking best practice teaching practices from, you know, Mozilla Science, the carpentries. Um, and it was really interesting hearing their backstory because when the Mozilla Science kind of group um, folded, the group actually wanted to continue on with um, promoting um, um, technical skills teaching. And so somehow Greg Wilson got a wind of that and trained that group, I think about five years ago. And now that, co that cohort is actually leaving um, the academic community, right? They're finished. So they, the Coders Club has been encouraging their members, oh, go, go find instructor training. So people have been signing up online, it's a two year wait. And then this came along at the University of Toronto. So um, that was wonderful in terms of helping us um, identify you know, sustainable uh, um, people to invest in because basically if they mentioned the uni like, you know, Coders Club in their application, I'm like, yeah, you're in because you're already doing that work. So it was very nice to find a grassroots um, um, kind of organization that was already doing that work, um, giving them that extra lift, building a new generation of uh, instructors. And um, they're very, very experienced. So even though it's run by, you know, student volunteers, we're learning incredible amount of, in terms of uh, mobilizing and, 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 and outreach and, and all that. So I wanted to give a, a shout out to the uh, University of Toronto Coders Club. That is so fantastic. Thank you, May.